sort of fancy later. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, all right. Hey, nice wheels. How much are we paying our supply teachers? I've stalled, all right. Oh, hi, Mr. Budgeon. Lovely morning. What are you gawping at? Are you simple or something? Simple. Morning. Morning. This is nice. Thanks. Do you mind if I have a little... What do you, what do you do? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, this is a lovely interior. Mm, my boyfriend insisted on leather. They're fantastic, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's all set up for me. Hang on. Lever, just... Oh! There you go. Eddie, you know what? I think Miss Anna will let you make some boom boom noises later on, but right now we've got a lot to do before registration. Shall we, um... <laughs> That's good, right. Thanks, Jim. Okay. See you in a bit. All right. My uncle had one of these, miss, but he said it felt like a toy, so we got a Merc instead. <laughs> you are mad bringing that to school, miss. Someone's well gonna nick it. <laughs> well, if they do, you'll be top of my list, Paul, okay? Oh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. When is this film crew getting here? I don't imagine they'll arrive much before lunchtime. Besides, this is local news, not Hollywood. Typical. You lot get on telly while we're stuck on some stupid theatre trip with Mr Budgie. My mum says that theatre's better than television. OK, guys, gather round. Today is the day. <laughs> OK, thanks for coming in early. I just want to sort a few things out before lunchtime. We do not want any dodgy notes on our television debut, do we? Guys, um, hey! I'm really... So, what do you reckon? Don't we look amazing? Yeah. Oh, guys, don't forget, it was Miss Allen that set this up, so... Thank you. You're welcome. Really hope you enjoy it. Bye. Do you think he's all right? I think he's doing pretty well. I mean, if it was me, I would have stayed in bed and carried on drinking. I'm being serious. Yeah, so am I. Babe, if you did that to me, I don't think turning up for work would even come into it. Has he even spoke to her? She didn't even have the guts to say it to his face. Anyhow, you've got enough on your plate. So make sure you knock him dead in there, all right? Both of you. See you later. See you. You okay? Fine, Rosie. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go anyway, you know. All this lot didn't need you holding their hand every step of the way, why should I? Uh, sorry, things have been a bit difficult. Oh, no, no, no problem. It's, I'm just nervous. First exam in 15 years, you know. All I'm saying is, it's very rare to have a supply teacher that gets so involved. I mean, she's been here, what, six days? She's already made a great impression on the kids and the staff. Oh, the deputy head in particular, I think. <laughs> That's just a car. When else am I going to get a chance to sit in a Porsche? I've uh, just had admin on Liz Washburn's phone day. She got food poisoning. Great, that's four staff down then. Really? No, five, actually, if you include Davina. Right, well, some other lucky punter's gonna have to hold Grantley's hand at the theatre then. What's your secret, Jasmine? Hmm? You look so trim. I mean, I swim every morning and I don't know half as good. Where do you swim at? The Rick? No, at home. You've got a pool? Yeah. That, well, my boyfriend does. I could never afford one. It's just heaven. Stress, hangover, you name it, it's the business. Wow, your boyfriend's place sounds amazing. <laughs> but he doesn't sound like the sort who would normally date teachers. What do you mean? Well, take a look around. <laughs> Hardly the jet set, are we? My boyfriend's happy I do something I love. And he knows I'd never give it up. It's my vocation. Mm. Besides, you're not just a teacher, are you? If we let ourselves be just anything, we're all done for. Mm. We've all got massive potential. The kids too. It's what we do, isn't it? Inspire them to be all they can be. It's what I love about this job. The boyfriend has got to be a footballer. I mean, who else has got that kind of money? I think he's an actor on a soap. They spent last weekend on his yacht 
In how many soap stars have a yacht? Oh, he's got a yacht. You're as bad as the kids slavering over it like that. Oh, envy is a terrible thing, Grantly. But in a man of your age, it's just embarrassing. So she leeches off this mysterious boyfriend of hers. Big deal. That might be fine for the pages of Hello magazine, but hardly a yardstick of success in my book. A word, please, Grantly. Do you really want to be talking about your colleagues like that in the staff room? She is a supply teacher. So? All the more impressive that she's made such a strong connection with the students. A connection? Yeah. You could do worse than take a leaf out of her book. In fact, I'm sending her on a theatre trip with you today. Well, yeah, you might learn something. Fantastic. A whole day with Lady Muck of Banford. OK, pens only. Leave everything else outside the room. This is what I hate. I just want to get in there and do it. I just wish it was over. Go on. And remember, absolute silence from now on. Hi. Now you're in the exam room, I insist on absolute silence. Sorry I'm late, sir. What's that? <laughs> Find a seat. Silence! OK. Turn your papers over. And you may begin. actually said that? Yeah. That you're just some supply teacher and should be treated accordingly. So it's all supply teachers. He does that with everyone. He is such a pig. It's rotten that. One grumpy old so-and-so spoiling it for everyone else. It's one of the benefits of supply teaching. I can just walk away, but you're stuck with him. <laughs> not if I have my own way, I'm not. What are you up to, you little minx? Well, <laughs> Let's just say, if a teacher's underperforming, someone should be keeping an eye on him. So that's exactly what I've been doing for our Mr Budgeon. It's all in here. Well, <clears throat> you don't mess around, do you? You go, girl. And it's not like I'm short on evidence. He's so unprofessional, it's insane. He's a bully, basically. If I worked here full-time, I wouldn't let him get away with it. You don't think I'm being a bit nuts, do you? If you don't like something, change it. Life's too short. Hmm? Second from the front. Oh, Janice. I think a gentle word might be in order before she upsets someone. Hey, Mr. Budgeon. Team teaching. I love it. Have a great lesson. You too. Okay, so. What do the horses represent? Boxer is the workers. He's brave, loyal, trusting, but naive. Who? Okay. And the others? Uh, Molly's really pretty, uh, really vain, and she loves luxuries. Hmm. Just like my horse, Juno. And she represents? Uh, the rich. The aristocracy. Crucial difference. Any more? So he lets off this big stink, this ball of gas. Just, just what part of silent reading are you struggling with, Smiley? Hi, oh, hey, Domsey. Right. I've just seen Chloe scribbling away. Yeah? It's all right. Yeah, yeah, she's very calm, very focused. Smart. It's the good news about UCL, isn't it? Mother and baby places sound brilliant. 
UCL. University College London. Close going Manchester, miss. Yeah, but now she's had offers from London and Bristol, she can choose, can't she? Bristol's got a great tradition. Choose? It's, it's already decided. Close going Manchester. It's going to be a bit of a stretch, but we can work around it. It's important to her, you know? Close seems really excited about UCL. So let me get this right. You two have been talking behind my back. What? Chloe's going Manchester, miss. Why are you trying to change that? Because Chloe asked me to look into Just meddling. I'm sorry. Uh, this is my mistake. Yeah, you're right. It is, miss. You're the one that's supposed to be helping us solve our problems, but now you're just creating them. You don't really care about what's best for us, do you? OK, so there are two sides, OK, just like in the book. Paul and all you guys on this side, you represent the pigs, OK? So remember their strength, and I want to hear you. Danielle, all of you guys on this side, you're the farmyard. Remember how you felt about the pigs? So come on. Come on, let me hear you. Oh, come on. We've been through this. The novel is an allegory about somebody. The shift. The shift from revolution... Right, okay, all animals are equal. You told us that. So you're telling me, right, that a dog and a horse, they do the same work, eat the same food, and deserve to be the same? Oh. Come on, get involved! Come on, get involved! To totalitarianism. So what are all these pigs about? <laughs> The hell do you think you are doing? Well, meet the pigs. Whee! And the other animals. Whee! Preparing for our trip this afternoon. We're getting to the core issues, aren't we? And the pigs will be ruling the farmyard, man. Uh, does it have to be so loud? Getting them out of their seats engages them. It gives them a better command of the material. We never did anything like this when I was at school. Just try and keep it down a bit. You've gone and got me into trouble with my head of department now. <laughs> right, come on, and again. But okay. Virgin. Glad to caught you. As you're probably aware, I have several issues with you. Issues, Miss Qureshi? Yes. As a teacher, a colleague, a head of department. But up until now, I've kept them to myself. Oh, if only that were true. But seeing your totally unprofessional behaviour in the staff room earlier has convinced me to take steps. I'm going to be presenting my dossier to Miss Mason today. Your dossier? I've kept a record of every single unprofessional thing you've done this term and I'm going to hand it in for the good of the school. I just thought it'd be fair to warn you. You can't do that. I'm head of department. What are you doing out of class? Um, Miss Hayden. Liar. No, I'm not. She's not in school today, unlucky. Unlucky? You looked in the mirror lately. I beg your pardon. Is that how you speak to a member of staff, to a head of department? Detention, lunchtime. Well, I, I can't, sir. Theatre trip. Oh, that's easily solved. You're not going. What? Insolence to a member of staff, being out of class for no good reason, all privileges revoked. You can't do that. I just have. And if you have a problem with that, we will go to the head. Seems to be all the rage at the moment.
Chase, what are you doing? Everyone's always going on about how I look. I've done something about it. I did two, four and five. Five, four, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Good luck. You too. Yeah. Chloe, how'd it go? Okay, I think. At first I thought I can't answer any of these questions and then it just clicked. Find out what that's about. Do you want to meet for lunch? Yeah, give us a ring later, yeah? Yeah. Look at the gardens landscape last year. Is this what we put? The living room. We had them in lime green. For God's sake. I'm a princess and I live in a palace. Mr. Budgeon, is there a problem? I'm sorry? It's just you seem upset. And as a supply teacher, it's important to get on with your colleagues. And, well, a little bird told me that you're a bit unhappy with me or something. No, no, no. Uh... Whoever told you that must have misunderstood. Really? You sure? Yeah, look, I'm sorry. I'm just having a bad day. Look, I'm sorry if I'm a bit full on at times. I know how lucky I am. Believe me, I do. And if going on about the car and the house annoys you, I, I can just stop. No, it's fine. Really. Glad to have cleared the air. What did you say to her? I told her to put out. London, what is she on about? Uni ain't like a supermarket. You can't pop to your nearest one. Yeah, and I don't need no degree to know that we live in Rochdale, Chloe. You need family around you when you're having a kid. Our folks live here. Plus, it would cost a fortune. Just so you could run around with a bunch of students with traffic cones on your head. So what, I just shouldn't bother? And that's not fair. I said I'd support you through college, didn't I? But it's not just about you anymore, though, is it? It's about us. It's about all three of us. Maybe we could all go to London. Well, how can you not just get the fact that you are a mum first and foremost, Chloe? Like I keep saying, it's not just about you. You can't decide stuff on your own. Looking good. All right, Philip. What's up? Uh, Mr. Budgeon says I can't go on the third trip. So. What have you done? Nothing. Tell you what. Leave it with me, yeah? Me and Mr. Budgeon have a pretty good understanding. Yeah. yeah. Though you may not want to come when you hear who else is going, Mr. Lawson's sending me along. Ah, cool. Cool. You all right, miss? Me? Yeah. You bet. You send a supply teacher on a school trip. Eddie, she barely knows those kids. <laughs> they pay more attention to her than they do to Grantley. Uh -huh. You know he's banned Philip from going. Yeah, I know, and he was really looking forward to that, wasn't he? Well, look on the bright side. After a full day of detention, you get to play good cop for once. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mason, Mr. Lawson, I wanted to give you this. It's about Mr. Budgeon. Right. It's a record of his misconduct and unprofessionalism. Well, you compiled this, have you, by yourself? Okay, thanks. I'll look into it. Okay. What's he done now? <laughs> wow, Janice! That is some makeover. Well, if I like, I don't care. I'm doing this for me, all right. But what is it? 
What? You're doing it for you, but what is it? You've converted to Islam now. What, like Muslim girls? I'm dressing this way to express me modesty. So I don't have boys leaving at me. And that's the only way you could think of doing it. Well, what else could you have done? Told everyone I was a virgin. <laughs> well, you could try. But I'm not sure it would be any more convincing. But hey, whatever makes you happy. Hi, how, how was the exam? I uh, fine, I think. Well, no point in worrying about it now anyway. Uh, listen, I'm sorry about Davina and all. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, it came out of the blue, but... Yeah. Well, if you ever need to talk, you know where I am. Thanks. I'm just offering to help, Tom. I think in this case you've done more than enough. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, Davina leaving is now my fault, is it? Tell you what, Tom. You ever crawl out from under your arse for long enough, send us a postcard. Till then? There. I, I bought it, so I'm not gonna throw it away. Obviously, you're far too high and mighty to uh, accept anything from the likes of me, but that's your call. Some of us aren't too proud to accept a bit of help. Still Janice in it, I'll be changed that as well. Well, take the make out of Muslim girl. Yeah, but you're not Muslim. Or at least you weren't yesterday. Oh, say what you like, I don't care. Oh, well, that's lucky. What do you reckon? Are you taking the piss or what? I thought you'd be pleased. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. I don't even want to be seen with you. <laughs> Such you then. Such you all. Mecca's that way. <laughs> Good one. That's gross. Are you sure it's Philip? Yeah. Who else would send me second-hand underwear? It's so lame, it's got to be. Maybe he's just trying to be nice. That's even worse. This is his idea of nice. It's just sad. And creepy. Where are we going for lunch? As far away from Philip as possible. I know somewhere. I thought they'd be set up by now. Uh, yeah, me too. Well, they'd better hurry up. Everyone will be here in a minute. Right, wait here. Uh, if anyone else turns up, just tell them to wait as well, okay? I'm just gonna find out what's going on. Jim! Oh, Max, we have got to run. Mr. Budgeon's already got it in for me. He'll have to hold up his precious coach. Well, it's just, um, no one's here yet. I'm getting a bit antsy. What? BBC Northwest, your friend Hermione filming the choir. What, and they're not here yet? No. Right, hang on. Uh, so, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hi, uh, it's Jem. Wh where are you guys? What? No, you should be here at Waterloo Road filming the choir. You're joking. It's bang out of order. Really, no, don't bother. Oh, for God's sake. 
They're not coming. <sighs> Apparently, Hereditor said they've already done four feel-good things at schools this year, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It's all arranged. The, the kids are all excited. I'm so sorry. It, it's awful. Well, did no one think to let us know? I know. How hard is it to pick up a phone? You know, TV people are so rude. They'd have known how much you were all looking forward to it. I don't believe this. Hey, listen. Would it, would it help if, if I talk to her? Oh, no. I don't, don't think so. They're, they're, they're in Warrington filming some chimp that goes around children's wards. Look, I know it's not the same thing, but Charlotte's a maid. Who's Charlotte? It... Charlotte Church? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure she'd pop in to see the choir next time she was over this way. If you think it's a good idea. Could be good, yeah. Yeah. Um, I want written confirmation. So, I, I, I'm really sorry about all this, okay? But I'll, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. On the coach, quickly. No pushing. Hi. Ah, Miss Allen. Been for a spin? Sorry? Well, you're late, so I couldn't see that car of yours. Oh, my boyfriend wanted to put it through its paces. Plus, he wanted to see me. He's sweet like that. I bet. Uh, Mr. Budgeon, I. I do hope we're not going to have another of our misunderstandings. I am sorry about showing the photos to everyone. I know that kind of thing upsets you. But I really want us all to enjoy today's trip. Uh, hurry up, get on. I miss the bloody thing at this rate. I'm really looking forward to this. Before, I think I was applying to uni because everyone thought I should. Oh, that's what my mum would have wanted. But being in there today, like with all the pressure and the nerves, I just thought this is me. You could be at uni by the autumn. Well, I've still got this and Donna to deal with first. I wonder why you brought me here. What is going on with you two? So, this is where you're working. Uh, yeah. I had a look for you after the exam. No, I had to come to the lunch shift. I had a breakfast as well. How'd you find the paper? Um, might as well have gone home and got some kip, if I'm honest. Look, I'd best get back. I've got some, um, mopping to do. Why is he working so much when he's got exams? How can they do that? It's so unfair. But they did say they were going to come, though, didn't they? Yeah. Well, I, I didn't speak to them directly, I was but... up at six this morning getting ready for it. This is so unfair. You've been building us up for this all week. Yeah, because I thought they were coming. I'm as disappointed as you are, you know. Our oh, practice is cancelled. <laughs> no, no, don't put yourself out. <laughs> That's enough. Uh, what the hell are you doing here? I specifically told you you were not allowed on this trip. No, sir, I got permission. So no, you didn't. From... <laughs> yeah, I did, Miss. That's not what Alan I said, Tom... Philip. You must have misunderstood. I... <laughs> no, I didn't. I um... couldn't do that, Mr. Budgeon. As a supply teacher, I'd never presume to go over your head. No, no Miss, I, I only came once you said Philip, that. Philip, that's I... enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was getting on the job. What have we done now, Philip? Odd that. The lad seemed genuinely aggrieved. No, he's trying it on. What? You mean lying? We're exaggerating then. He's exactly the sort to. Hmm. Quite the expert, aren't we? No, Philip Ryan. No, I haven't seen him. Well, go on, it's sent him apparently. So, what would happen if you mixed them all up?
this house of yours is in Banford, right? Yeah. Well, we pass right there. We could pop by and take a look. I'm sure the students would love to see your house, seeing as we've all heard so much about it. But it's my boyfriend's place. Mm. But we could just take a look. I mean, we've seen the photos, now you could show us the real thing. OK, then. Why not? Yeah? Why not? If it's on the way. Eddie, I thought you said Grantly sent Philip to detention. He did. Don't tell me he's not there. Well, no one's seen him. Right, well, I'll have a scout about. I'll see if I can't drag him up. I think you'd be wasting your time there. What do you mean? Well, where did he say you wanted to be today? Theatre trip. Oh, that little so-and-so. Great. So much for me being good cop for a change, eh? What does your boyfriend do? Is he one of them really, really hot models? You know, like a Calvin Klein model or something? <laughs> or do you have like this huge, huge house? We have like a jacuzzi in your bedroom. You'll see. <laughs> you just off the way off. I'm not just... We're like in the middle of nowhere. Okay, stop right here. Is that the one, Miss? Sexy. <laughs> Is that it? <gasps> That's my house. We're just looking. We don't want to be late for the theatre. No guided tour? Oh you do God. surprise me. Do you want this lot thundering around your house? As I keep saying, it's not my place, it's my boyfriend's. Of course it is. Uh, can you stop them? Your house, you stop them. Girls. Hi. Um, listen, I'm sorry for being a bit ratty earlier. Today's just been a bit of a disaster from start to finish. Um, what I was thinking, you know, to make up for it, we could, uh, we could, we could all go for a, a burger on Friday, you know? My shout. What? So you think some stupid burger's gonna make up for not being on telly? No, no. Um, it's just my way of saying I'm, I'm sorry for the disappointment and well, to thank you all for the effort that you've been... Sorry. Do you think everyone's a bit upset? Yeah, tell me that. Oh, miss, you really live there? Yes. Oh, miss, let us in, please. Oh, please, 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 please. Now that you're here, you might as well come oh, in. Yeah. Right, 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 uh, everybody back to the coach. Did you who wanted to see it, change your mind. Oh, guys, wipe your feet. This is the atrium. Otherwise known as the hall. You're telling me your hole's like this? Right, not me. <laughs> so there's three more bedrooms up here. And for those who like to work out, there's a gym. you like this. Oh, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Can they play computer games up on the screen? Watch movies, isn't it? Yeah. 
<laughs> and the chairs move as well when you turn them off. <laughs> Miss, where's Juno? <laughs> what? Juno? You, this morning in class you said that your horse's name was Juno. Yeah, when I was a kid. You used the present tense, Miss. Yeah, boy. Philip. Okay, everyone, let's keep moving. Oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we were supposed to be filming here today. Yeah. Well, I'm just calling to see whether we could possibly um, reschedule. As you can imagine, the, the students were very disappointed. Uh, Hermione? Um, don't know her second name. What? You sure about that? Yeah, wa Waterloo Road. Hermione... Okay, sorry to bother you. So, this has to be my favourite room of the house. Everything you see is handmade to order from Finland. The house has 1,604 lights. What, are you an alchemist? <laughs> it's for entertaining. We have a lot of parties. Oh, but miss, what do you eat? There's no food in there. Yeah, well, there's another fridge in the basement. Well, why would you keep food away from the kitchen? Just because. Carla, okay? Right then, so we'll do a whistle-stop tour of the upstairs before heading back to the coach. We don't want to be late for the theatre. Yeah, uh, miss, um, can I go to the toilet, please? Yeah, they're just through there and on the right. Don't be long, okay? Look, to be honest, Janice, I'm not surprised that Waffle was so angry. Why? I'm not taking a mick, I just want to be like her. Yeah, but to her, this isn't just an item of clothing. Like how for a Christian, a crucifix isn't just a cross. What's that got to do with this? What I mean is, you need to be more sensitive to other people's beliefs. Yeah? Yeah, whatever we might... Well, who's being sensitive to me? Who gives a crap about how they look at me or what they say to me? No one. At least not round here. Well, people can say what they like. But when I do it, it's, oh no, Ginny, she can't do that. But... You know, this isn't the answer. Well, what can I do? Whatever I do, however I look, it's always going to be wrong to someone. I'm stupid, rude, or a slag. Janice. No matter what I wear or how hard I try, I'm a joke. Big boob Janice. Miss, what's that? That's our fire. How can you stand coming into school, miss? <laughs> If I had to choose between this place and Waterloo Road, oh, I'd never leave. It's just a house. I rattle around in it on my own. My boyfriend's away a lot. Now, he's a very busy man. He'd have to be to pay for this lot. Oh, we never talk about money. Who cares, right? Have fun while you can, that's what I say. <laughs> this place is like a hotel. Everything is new. Ah, it's being rich in it. Everything's new all the time. <laughs> this? That's Mason. You are the nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> hey, come on, let's do something. <laughs> huh? Let's do something. <laughs> wait, wait. Philip, call me at school the minute you get this message. Yes, hello, hi. It's Ms. Mason from Waterloo Road. Yeah, you're driving a coachload of our students to the Royal Exchange. Yes, um, is, is it possible to have a word with one of my, um, my staff? You were? What are you... Okay, okay, okay. If you can just get either of my teachers to give me a call as soon as possible. Thank you. My guys, turn it down, she's gonna go mad. So what? Yeah, open the other one, man. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> i tell you what, yeah? I'm Lewis Hamilton. Oh, yeah, Get right. right. <laughs> You're not as cute. Hey, yeah.
This is where we sleep. Oh my God, would you look at this? Yeah, okay, come on, we ought to be getting back now. Okay, come on, guys. Can you just check out that green room on your way out? Come on, Carl. So, Mr. Budgeon, do you like it? Of course. You're very lucky. You know, I didn't believe you about all this. Well, I saw those blokes take your car. <sighs> yeah, that was a fib. That's Darren, our mechanic. My boyfriend was so annoyed at me for taking the car in this morning. I completely forgot about its service. <laughs> this is the sort of life you dream of when you're a kid. Mm. Or when you do the lottery. It's how people live on TV. A million miles from the lives the rest of us lead. But knowing someone that you actually know lives like this. Never lose your dreams, Mr. Budgeon. Hmm? Without them, we're nothing. May I use the bathroom? Yeah, of course. Please. So according to the driver, they've all disappeared inside Jem's house. Have you tried the mobiles? Well, no, she only had her own number on the file. So I got the answer machine, it was a little old lady. <laughs> Anyway, I've left a message with Grantley, and I've left one with Phil. If he's even there with them. Look, I'm sure that he is, and it's all fine. Grantley knows what he's doing. Jam, even more so. But I bet any minute now we find out they're back on track, and there's a simple, rational explanation for all of this. Just leave it with me, OK? Hey! Oh, oh, hey! Hey, a water slide would be well better. Whee! Yeah, I'm going in. You going in? You going in? Come on, in! Come on, Ben! Come on, Ben! Come on, Ben! Come on, about what I might find. Got ourselves into a bit of a pickle, haven't we? Sir, come quick. Bottles hurt himself in the swimming pool. Where's Paul? Oh, no. hey. Do something, lad. I can't. can't swim, can I? Oh. Okay, people, listen up. Does anyone have a mobile phone number for Jem Allen? No. What, none of you? No? If I did, I'd be on it right now, shouting. And why is that? I just rang BBC Northwest, right, to see if we could reschedule. They've never heard of Jem's mate Hermione. Or us. What? You're joking. So you're calling her a liar too? <laughs> you're as bad as Grantley. Well, it seems the entire animal farm trip has been relocated to some large house in Bamford. Yeah, see, that's where Jem lives. So that proves she's right? No. We just spoke to her mum. And she's very confused, because as far as she's concerned, Jem lives with her in a semi in Hardy Way. Hardy Way? That's dead rough, isn't it? 
So Miss Allen isn't quite who we think she is, is she? It was all lies. Great. No. Jim's not like that. I bet this turns out to be Grantley's fault. Oh, are you okay? Get him in the recovery. Uh, oh. I feel like I've been hit with an iron bar, man. You! You're an idiot. Hey, you pushed him. Oi! What the hell do you not think you're doing? I trust you and you repay me like this. Trust! What do you know about trust? Uh, Mr. Budgeon, I really think we should get back on the bus and leave. This lot trusted you. You've lied about everything. Your car, your boyfriend, this place. What? You don't live here. You're house-sitting for a Mr. and Mrs. Burkitt. No. You said that this was your boyfriend. I do house. live here. I, I'm allowed to be here. You I... are a liar. You know, this is all your fault. You made us come. Just kept getting at me all day. You couldn't let it lie, could you? Sir? Oh, sir, you're all right. Sir, you're right. Jesus, you're right. Jesus, what? Sir. Oh, come on, come on, it's me. Yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. Right, sir, right, just, just take it easy, yeah. just take it easy. Well, what's happening? Why, why is he doing this? Hey, Miss, yeah. you, you know first aid. Uh, no, I, I can't do anything. Yeah, you do. All right, teach us how to do it. It's her health and safety. I'm not oh. insured. Huh? If he dies, I could get sued. Yeah. I can't, okay? I just can't. You're right, guys, it's on its way. It's on its way. You're right. Okay. Sir, it won't be long. Come on. Okay, just, okay. Breathe. Yeah. Just breathe. Just hold on. All right. Breathe. I'm sorry about Dante, he's just stressed at the moment. And how are you feeling? Air levels are tricky enough. You know what? I'm loving it. Yeah? It's like it's what I'm supposed to do. I want to study. Uni suddenly isn't just some form or a picture in a prospectus. I want to go. And I think that's what's worrying Dante. It's not Dante that's a problem. What do you mean? It's just with a baby. Your whole life is planned out for you. There's no freedom. Come on, Chloe. People with kids do all sorts of things. Yeah, but it's like Dante says. I'll be a mum first and foremost. Everything else will have to fit around that. So, what are you saying? Do you not want to go now? No. It's just what's the point in going as a mum? If that's how you feel, you could always defer until next year. Yeah, because that works. All the girls from here are having babies, saying they'll come back and do their exams. How many of them actually do? It was all Mr. Budgeon's fault. That's rubbish. I kept telling him how unprofessional he was being, but he just wouldn't listen to me. You're lying, miss. You were the one that brought us here. Well, it was a good thing I was here, or else who knows what might have happened. Mr. Budgeon saved Bolton's life. You did nothing. You're a liar. You're such yeah. a liar. You're 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 a li
Dạ Miss, I was wondering if you've had a chance to look at that material I gave you. Not yet, no. Actually, you know, I'm on the way to see Grantly now in intensive care. So, let's leave your dossier till another day, shall we? Bolton, are you all right? Miss Allen. Mr Lawson's waiting for you in my office. Look, I know that you were partly responsible for what just happened. Hmm? At the same time, I heard you did really well with Mr. Butch, and so I'm proud of you. Philip! Here. Take them. I don't know where you got them from or what on earth made you think I'd want them. What is wrong with you? But How I... sick is that? Give a girl second-hand knickers. You need help. I don't want them, and I don't want anything to do with you. Got it? Weirdo. Flick. Please don't tell me those are mine. So, I spoke to you, Mum. Mum? That was the number on your CV. And when I told her you might be back a bit late, she said, no worries, I won't cook, because tonight's her speed dating night. That's what I tell her I'm doing. So she doesn't worry about me. And I'm only there temporarily. We spotted this waterfront apartment that is just Jeff. amazing. Jeff! There's no one left to impress. It was all Budgeton's fault. He was getting at me all day, needling away, making hours, bigging myself up. All my life there's been people like him telling me I was nothing, that I'd got nothing coming. Teachers, bosses, my dad, all the same, all crushing the life out of me. Smug, smug face. Imagine, Miss Allen, I don't think so. Well, I showed him, hey? I showed him. Do you do this every school you work at? Just tell lie after lie until he gets sussed out and then get fired? You're, you're letting me go. She had no idea what you've done. How unprofessional you've been. The kids love me. Without me, they're stuck with the likes of Budgin. His sort of knock the spirit out of them. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, do you? <laughs> I really would talk to someone about the lion. Life should be exciting. Tell that to Grantley Budgeon. Finish then. Oh, I'm on a break. I'm here till 11. Shouldn't you be revising tonight? There's not much point in that. Holly, that's crazy. Chucking away your exams for a job you hate, which I don't imagine pays that well. It pays more than revision does. So this is all to pay back my dad. I'm just trying to do what's right. I'd best get back to work. Marley. Thank you for getting Bolton out. I don't really understand how a trip to the theatre can end up like this, but I am glad you did what you did. We'll be letting Jem go. <laughs> you just concentrate on getting better, Grantly. Yeah. Babes, whatever it is, we can sort it. I promise. Right? Nothing's worth all this, Chloe. Exams, unit, whatever it is. You know I love you, okay? And you know I'm gonna look after you. You and this little baby right here, no matter what happens, okay? The rest, we can sort out. 
Joe understand? How am I supposed to understand, Chloe, when you haven't told me anything? I'm not psychic. You, you won't understand. Give us a chance to. <sighs> if this is about Kim, I'm sorry. All right? It's I not said about I'm... Kim. She didn't understand either. Understand what? You're gonna hate me for this. Oi! Oi! I am not gonna hate you. How could I? This has just been building up and building up, and I wanted to talk to you about it, but I couldn't. What is it, Chloe? When the baby comes. Chloe! When the baby comes, I've decided I want to give it up for adoption. What? Because this is supposed to be the best thing that's ever happened to me. But more and more, it feels like the worst. You know, like my life is over. But done it this way, we can have a baby when we want. Yeah? When we're ready. Plus, we know the baby will be with people that love it. Yeah? And you desperately want it. Yeah. Right. Don't it. Babe. Donnie, where are you going? You move it. No. If you want to test us, then teach us something first. Teach us. Teach us. Teach, teach us. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us.